Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Diha. So today we are going to learn about natural sources of water on Earth. So okay, the first thing first, before we start learning today, I'm going to share with you about the importance of water. Okay, the first one, why is the importance of water? Okay, water keep our body hydrated all the time. But what is the meaning of hydrated? Okay, the meaning of hydrated is you keep your body healthy and alert all the time. Have you ever been sleepy in your class? Okay, that is because the oxygen in your brain is not enough. So by drinking more water, you can help your body to stay active and strong to learn a new thing. Okay, the next one is the importance of water. It keeps your heart from heart attack. You know what is heart attack? It's a dangerous disease for us human. So drinking a lot of water can keep our heart healthy and prevent heart attack. Okay, drinking water can help you to digest the food that you eat. Have you ever think about that? How our stomach, our large intestine, small intestine digest food? By drinking a lot of water, it can help your large intestine, stomach and small intestine to process the food that you eat. Okay, for the last one, by drinking water, it can help to maintain your body temperature. Can you imagine after you run with your friend, you must drink water to regulate back your body temperature to cool down and keep you calm. Okay, that's all for the importance of water for our body, for me and also for you. Okay, moving on to the next one. Have you ever wondered where this water comes from? Okay, today I will share with you, we have five natural sources on earth that Allah provide to us, special gift for us. Okay, the first one is rain. Do you know what is the meaning of rain? Rain is actually the water droplets that come from the sky to the earth. Okay, the next one is river. Do you ever wonder how river is formed? After the rain falls down on earth, it will form a stream of water and form a river that we have today. The third one is seas. You know what is seas? It's actually an ocean, a part of our earth that covered with salt water. That is sea and our most of our water is come from the sea. Okay, the next natural sources of the water is lake. Do you know what is lake? Okay, for lake, it's actually a large area of water surrounded by a land. Sometimes it's also surrounded by mountain. Okay, this is the last one. The last one of natural sources of water. The last one is springs. Okay, I always wonder how spring form. Okay, let me explain to you. Actually, a spring form because a volcanic happened underground, then it will produce water that come up. But it's only a small water, not a large or tall one. It's only a small one. That's how a spring is formed. Okay, now that is all five. What is our natural sources of water on Earth? So I hope you learned something new today. Bye.